Perfect. Welcome to the Mizell Show. An inspiration for a new generation. Hi, I'm Alana Mizell, a loving mother of two, a devoted wife to Stephen, and an entrepreneur helping women realize their dreams and potential. And I'm Stephen Mizell, caring father of two, a devoted husband to Alana, and a driving force to help young men prepare for life after college football. And if that wasn't enough, we're a biracial couple. She was raised in the North, but I was raised in the South. The only thing normal about our lives. Who am I kidding? It's never normal around here. Join us for The Mizell Show. Right now. It's International Podcast Week and the Mizells are back. Is it really? Yes. International oh. Podcast Week. Okay, yeah, it is. Duh. Yes. I knew that. Yes. Just kidding. That was really loud. But we are back, so though. Sorry. You're going to have to fix that. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it wakes them up. They're excited to hear your voice. <laughs> it has been a few weeks, and we are back on the Mizell Show. It's been a lot of weeks. Uh, but, you know, it happens. It's, uh, it's, it, like, those that are parents, the start of school is just... I say this all the time. It's like a fire hose. It's just yes. coming straight at your face. I feel like the, the, the start of summer, you're like, oh my God, me overplaying and playing. All of a sudden, summer just flies by. You're like, I can't Zoom wait till school back. happens. And then I'll be into a routine. But all of a sudden, everything happens at the beginning of school. And you're like, oh, this well, is and like a the lot. adjusting of the kids into different grades. Yeah. And I'm trying to get myself as human as possible. Yeah. Got to get if ready. If you saw me right now, you'd be like, but are you? Hey, you're 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 struggling. You're I'm humaning struggling. as much as you can. I'm driving the struggle bus. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not driving. You're like a couple seats from the driver. So you're there at the front of the bus, but you're mm, not like. I you think know, I'm, I think we're driving today. You're driving today. I finished a big task at what was it nine thirty? But let's 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 rewind. And I was like, like wait, you, you, but you know, do I have to work anymore today? I do, but yeah, I was like, we have Whoa. to work. That's why. It's why you. But you you're working during your lunch break and doing this podcast. That's you know, right. it's something that you got to do. Got to multitask. Got to multitask. Got to get but stuff this done. Is you know how people say to find what you love. Oh, it's literally in a country song by Jordan Davis. Find what you love and do it every day. Yeah, that's podcasting. I think for me, like I don't feel like it's work. It's because you're the talent, and you just show up. And you just like you, you right. You just uh, what's it called? What's it called? You piss excellence because <laughs> you just hop on the mic and just go sweat glitter and piss excellence. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, Alana oh. is here and full effect. Yes, she is. Especially so, okay. This reminds me of Alana After Hours. Alana. So our kids got introduced to Alana After Hours a couple weeks ago. You know, Adele and Briggs are playing flag football. The first time they're both playing flag football during the season. Adele has played since another she, reason that we are not totally adults. Adele has played or since human. she was first grade. This is her third year. Third year, yeah. first grade. She is all in. Briggs was. Thrusted into real football with my previous career. So Briggs knows real football. Right. But he's playing flag. Briggs has been now, taught how to tackle as a five year old. Yeah. So he's now. The right way. Now he's enjoying flag football. But all to mm-hmm. be said, Adele had a game that started at 7 30. Like kicked off with 7 I don't know if anybody knows, but my kids' bedtime is 7 30 and mine is right after 7 30. the game kicked mine off. Mine is 7 35. So all the adrenaline was running Eight. and the game didn't finish till like 8 45. And so the kids got to meet Alana after hours. Alana that usually after doesn't hours. show up till the kids go to bed. Yeah, until the kids mm-hmm. go to bed. But no, but this time the kids got a chance to meet her because she was in full effect. And so now the kids know who Alana After Hours is. And they all jokes about it. (laughs) Alana After Hours is me. I essentially just say whatever I feel like. Yes. Like you you have hit your max and everything. It is going to be me when I'm a Graham Graham. Graham Graham. Like I cannot wait. So you're going to be like Bluey on the Graham episode. Absolutely. Like, that's one of the Grouchy best Grannies. Episodes. Grouchy Granny. Like, that's going to be me. No filter. But it's going to be funny as all get out. Like I'm funny a lot of after hours. Yes. Yeah. And you're going to be Q's button too. I mean, I hope so. My grandma was so cute. She's adorable. And she said whatever she wanted to. So the first time Stephen met Graham, we're totally off our normal flow. It's hey, fine. we're talking. The first time she, he met Graham. So Graham was my great grandmother. Yeah. She's the queen. The greatest. The yes. matriarch of the family, my human outside she's of Stephen. Yes. Just, ugh. She's a great. She has, I have her signature tattooed on my body. Like that, so much I love this woman. And I have a couple pictures around our house, and we talk about her like she's down the street. 
First time she's I she's the met greatest. Her. But anyway, first time you met her, we decided to play Uno as a family. And Graham decides to break out the Baileys, Baileys. in her afternoon coffee. Yep. And then steals Steven's Red Sox hat. Wear it backwards. And has it on backwards. <laughs> has it on backwards, drinking her Baileys. And While dominating, playing Uno. Dominating Uno. What killing is she it. She was killing it. She was killing it. She was filling herself. 90 she's something her years old. 90 something, something years old. Killing it. Love that's, her. That's my goal in life. And the crazy thing is when you, you meet people. So Graham was Alana's person. She's also a person that we got a chance. I got a chance to meet a couple times. But also my mom met Graham once and fell in love with Graham. In the love. way like she speaks to Graham to this day like Graham was her she, person. Like they used to call each other. Yes. <laughs> they would send cards to each other. They were the cutest. Yes. She Just loves some Graham Graham. So we've been gone for a couple weeks. So Alana we has have. now finished twelve books. That's since- not true. I've finished a few. You have finished a few. I've finished a few. When, oh, what was the last one I told them about? Ooh. Go to your um, handy dandy page. What's that? I know, but okay. Oh, wow. Let me see. Um, Probably Jody P. Holt Storyteller. No, yeah. the fair. The hockey. The hockey, fair, fair. Oh, perfect. The hockey guy Are that you was sure? trying to retire. I told them about that. Yes, because I help with the breakdown of it. Oh, okay. So then I've read, we're just going to, I'm just going to tell you what I've read and I'm going to tell you which ones I like the best. Okay. Yes. That's what we're going to do. Um, Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, Daydream by Hannah Grace, No More Secrets by Lucy Score, The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling, The Tourist Attraction by Sarah, I can't read her last name, Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. Okay, I would say my favorite. Hold uh, on, how many books was that? Uh, it was a couple. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Um, well, <laughs> seven. I didn't. I finally finished. I thought it was me, just me. Okay. By Brene Brown, but I've mentioned that on the podcast. So I've finished seven books yeah, since our last podcast. Nice. Um. So, all that to say, I love Daydream by Hannah Grace because that's a part of the Maple Hills trilogy. That's number three. I don't think there's another one. And I would say the one that I just finished, Happily Never After, by yeah. Lynn Painter. Because it was witty. It was it was like witty on the first page. And I was about that. Yeah. I was about that. So finish a few books. Enjoy them. I finished a couple. Nice. Nice. I got a couple more to go. I anything mean, anything you watching? I finished Emily in Paris. You did finish it in Paris. Which if you haven't seen it, shame on you. It's about to be Emily in Rome next season. Mm, and that's all I'm going to say. Yes, that's say. all I'm going to say. Yes. Uh, I think the fashion was a little off okay. this season. But was... I don't know. I'm not really inspired by the Emily in Paris fashion because it's just not my vibe. Yes. Now, if they dress like Diana, Prince Diana, I'd be like, what are, what are we getting? Yeah. We're going to do top to bottom, well, left Keaton. to right. Ugh, I love Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton just dropped a new coffee table book that's all about her fashion. And I swear, oh, wow. if Santa Claus doesn't bring it to me and put it on my coffee table, me and Santa are going to have a chat. Oh, okay. okay. Me and Santa, Santa, Santa got to have a chat. Hopefully Santa's listening. It needs to go right with my... Kathleen Ashmore, Big Bites cookbook. Yes. Which, I haven't, I mean, I guess I've technically read Big Bites. But Big Bites cookbook yes. slays She y'all. did a good job with that one. It's so she good. good Kathleen Ashmore, I also follow her on Instagram. It's a fantastic book. Yes. You got to get it. Good job. You can get okay. it at Target. Okay. What about you? <clears throat> haven't read anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I balance it out. You balance it out. So, but I did listen to, recently we took a trip up northeast uh, to Connecticut and on the trip, um, I listened to a new Wandry podcast. Oh. Very good. On the plane? On the plane, there and back. Uh, just a fascinating... I, I, I enjoy the um, the thrillers of a podcast. And this one's called Over My Dead Body, The Tallahassee Lawyer. Oh. Uh, and it was very fascinating. Wow. Long story short, Tallahassee Lawyer is murdered in broad daylight. Whoa. Very randomly. Uh, he was going through a very meticulous divorce uh, with his wife, but his wife's family that was very traditionally religious, I would say, I'm not going to say what religion, but they were not happy with him. Mm. And fast forward to the end, the mother and one of her brothers hired a hitman to- Whoa, and they found him. And to kill him and to get the kids and the wife what they really wanted. So it was it was very fascinating. It was a very good navigation, very good story to tell. Wow, it was good. You, you guys, I didn't even know he listened to that. I, I listened to it. You it was, just kept it, really it all to yourself. I mean, just kind of just listened to it on the plane. Dozed off a little bit, but I got most of it. Me on a plane is I'm asleep before we take off. Yeah. The wheels 
like the engine's going even a little bit. It's like a sound machine. You gone. Out cold. Out cold. On that trip, there yeah. and back, asleep. Asleep. Whole time. Both four flights. Layover. Sleep. I wake up. Boop. Go back to sleep. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It was also very early, both flights. It worked. So we went to Connecticut. I had a work trip Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we got to see friends and family on Thursday, Friday. Got to explore Connecticut. Got to go into Boston. It was a fantastic trip. It was a great trip. Really enjoyed it. Really it fun did. Times. I was so sad to come back to Memphis. You were sad because it was back to seeing your. You got saw some of your home. Went to Boston. I went went to Quincy Market. Uh-huh. In Nathaniel Hall. In Nathaniel Hall. We'll get yep. to go there. Uh, walk around a little bit. But it was a good trip. Ate delicious Italian food in the North End. We did. Went to a phenomenal Italian bakery uh-huh. called Bovos. Bovas. Uh-huh. Bovas. It was great. They actually opened 24 hours. Uh, yeah. Really good stuff there. Which hindsight had we, well, our Italian was delicious. Oh, it was Don't perfect. get me wrong. But when we went to Bovas and we saw these calzones, we yeah. were like, yeah, but. We could have dinner there. Yeah, and but. Dessert. That but calzone right the calzone there. calzone was really good. Slapped. Slapped. But, Big as day. you know, the Maya Zell Show, we're back. And today, we kind of want to bring up something to Alana that we kind of dance around, but we haven't really talked about. We dance. Uh, we dance. Um, okay. So, you got a new stain on your table. Yeah. And it's literally eating through your paint. And there's another stain on your table that we can't actually get it off. And it's still there, mm-hmm. but it's not sticky anymore. How do you feel about this table? And the new stains. And I wanted to also kind of relive, if you haven't heard before, we had a part one of the table. So check it out. Uh, an older oh, episode. Yeah. The kitchen table. But uh-huh. part two, we wanted to kind of bring to you today. And this time of season that we life we're in with um, voting mm-hmm. and political changes and all this, we wanted to bring the table back. And so I wanted to mm-hmm. ask Alana, can you name two of your top two conversations at this table? Top two? Okay, so let's explain this table. So yes. Stephen and I <laughs> bought this table. Probably shouldn't have bought it if you knew how much money we spent when we first got married. But we bought the table. This wasn't that much money. Just compared to everything. I mean, else. we didn't have any money, <laughs> but it, this table was not that much money. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good um, yeah. it, table and chairs was under three hundred dollars, which does not exist. Yeah. Facebook Marketplace wasn't around yet, or else let's get real. You That's where it would have been. But the, you guys, this is the heaviest farmhouse table I've ever seen in my life. Yes. And it's got a leaf in the middle. It could see eight people, eight people. easily. And the thing about it is like when room. we bought it, it was very like, it's a nice table. If you'd have told me when I bought it, it would have been here for as long as it's been and taken all of the beating, I would have said nope. Right. No way. No, no way. No way at all. 2013, we bought it. 2013. It's been 11 years. 11 we've had years. This table. And the memories so, and the, yes. <laughs> uh, five years ago. Yeah. I decided to paint it. It was originally black, Mm -hmm. like all black. Yes. And I had wanted to paint it for a while, but who says, let's go paint a a dining room table, knowing it's going to get beat up because I had a Mm one-year-old. Five years ago? No, I had almost four. Almost four. Five, six. Anyway, and I had a toddler. Toddler, yeah. Both of them brings us alive. So that's insane. Like, don't do that. Anyway, but I knew I didn't like it black. And I wanted to paint it. So it's got nicks and bumps and scratches. And now it was like, it almost looked like it was supposed to be there until this gigantic ring on it. And let me tell you, I'm not a huge coaster girly. It was painted with chalk paint. It cured. It did what it was supposed to do. But it was whatever, done supposed to do for the, for the time being. Yes. I mean, it's been 13 years yes. and it's never, never had a ring left on it. Whatever that was, was either acetone or some some sort of acid. And it ate through the old as all get out chalk, chalk paint, paint on this table. Yes. I still am like, I don't know what that was, but it clearly was on the bottom of, of a cup. Some, of a cup or something. Of a cup of something. Part of me is wondering, so we went out of town. Part of me is wondering if the girl that was watching our dog actually had Chick-fil-A iced tea. Because I've heard that that iced tea can... No! Sorry, guys. It was the Chick Fil A iced tea because Chick-fil-A iced tea. Thurs- yes, that's we, what it was. Because you got the, the t- one that I had. Yes, Chick Fil A iced tea. Oh ate my through goodness! Paint, y'all. Ate yes, through paint. we were sitting here trying to. Yes, think. and that's on the other spot. Because you got a free drink with it. Yeah. So wow. I don't I'm know. I'm excited if it was because we, guys, we have been trying to figure out. It's like weeks. Our neighbor. I don't know if we were sitting through if it sat in lemonade. 
or what, but it ate through it. So I'm just gonna let y'all know that it ate through the paint. And because um, we were trying, we, we were trying to rack our brains. If you're about drinking what, it every day, just know what else it's eating through. Just yes, throwing it out there. Because we were trying to figure it out. Because we went out of town, and our and our house sitter's awesome, and we didn't think she would paint her nails. And then Alana said it would smell, so we couldn't figure out what it was. But yes, we but went also acetone would have gone through into the whatever the wood is underneath yeah. this. I don't even know if this table is wood. Like, I don't know what this table's made of, or else I would have sanded it down and stained it. Yeah. No, we have no idea. But it's heavy as all get out. Anyway, okay, the first, the question that you actually asked me before yes. we precursed yes. all the nicks and acts. The nicks and acts to me tell a story. Now, the ring on the table is a different level. That just feels a little different to me. Um, That feels a little bit too nicky-nacky. You know, when you can tell that it was a cup. That's my thought. But it's it's the but uh, it's the Steven, meal you know, and the joy. I that have the not painted it yet. Okay. And you said you wouldn't, so I appreciate and you taking the initiative. You would have gotten the paint out and painted it that already. day. Remember that would've day. Like, that and we're going to Home Depot. Let's yes. go. Let's put the blue tarp down. Get in the car. Let's painting. go. Healing and wellness and motivation is huge for the Mizell Show. And recently, we had New Day Healing and Wellness on the podcast. We are super super excited to be able to offer you guys a discount code under the name Mizell. If you hop into New Day Healing and Wellness, you can go to Red Light, you can go to the sauna, you can do the salt booth. They have so many different things to offer and we're just so excited for you guys to be able to experience some wellness of your own. I have to say my birthday. Ooh. So my birthday, not this past year, but the year before, we had four friends over. Kids were at their grandparents' house. Not that I don't love children, but they were... And the friends did not bring their... The, no, kids no kids were kids here. Were like, yeah. Ooh, they were friends a... that didn't know each other. And it was one of the most hilarious nights. It was also one of the most impactful nights. And I loved the conversations that were had. So I would say that. Yes. Okay. Um, 13 years, though. It's a lot of conversations. Though. There's a lot of conversations to be had. We also sat around this table... We were at the table when I told you that I was pregnant with Adele. We were at the table. We weren't at the table when I told them I was pregnant with Briggs. So that's a different... So I have to say that. But also, y'all, I... <laughs> on our wedding day, I got my hair done sitting at this table. Yes. With all the friends and family around. Right. And that's why I wanted to bring it back. Because you, you think through monumental times in your life, mm -hmm. people's lives. Mm -hmm. What was something around that just really honed into it? And this table has really been a staple of our relationships, of our conversations. And this has been really amazing to think through. Like many of you don't even know, I, I tried and worked very hard with Alana on a startup company. And all of those conversations mm -hmm. happened at this table in which we were meeting and trying to navigate all of those things. Mm -hmm. And so it's just the reason we I wanted to bring this up to you today, because last week we had a couple over for, for dinner. And one thing that we were trying to do is continue to open that our table so up. Fun. And it was a very, it was a great time. And the thing that we're challenging you as the listeners to that in this climate of everything happening, how can you politically. still politically, how can you still foster good relationships without having to delve into that? Because we, right, were we didn't talk about politics one nothing time. Nothing at all, but it was just naturally good. We I don't know sports. who they're voting for. I don't know what they think in that realm. It was irrelevant. Yeah. It was irrelevant in that moment because it was our kids hanging out with their kids. It was family. It was Baking, connection. it was sourdough, it was sports. And it was really just refreshing. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring it up to you today that, you know, you can still have those conversations. But I feel like right now we as a lot of our country, county, city, state, whatever you call it, are just so tumultuous in our relationships. And we need to come back to the table and mm. actually know what the table was for. And your table looks differently at different homes, but it's just been that I just really felt very passionate about. Okay, but what are your two favorite conversations at the table? My two favorite conversations. You at asked the table. me, it's your turn. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna say my two favorite conversations at this table. Man. Okay, one is going to be we we hosted Patrick Taylor Jr. and his then kind of girlfriend 
Yes. Now wife, Lauren. Now baby now mama. Now baby mama, Lauren, at our table. And it was one of those things where... Ray, so we knew how much he really liked her. Really liked her. But she was very... Apprehensive. Apprehensive. She was younger than him. Yes. I mean, she, they, she still is. But in <laughs> yeah. college. Yes. And I made them breakfast. Made them breakfast. Made her infamous cheese grits because PT... That's what he loved wanted. Loved the cheese grits. Yeah. And it was just so impactful because... Patrick Taylor has been a part of our life for a very long time. And his parents entrusted me and Alana with hanging out and being around him when that, but we met her before his parents did, I believe. Yeah. And it was one of those early relationships and it was like, Hey, let's invite her over. And it was just a very awesome breakfast time and just good time. Well, and what they didn't realize, I didn't realize then and had to realize later is how much they their relationship and their blooming relationship helped me uh, battle through postpartum depression mm-hmm. because there was something for me to look forward to. Yeah. And they, specifically Lauren, just really helped carry me through that without even... It wasn't like a pressure of talking about it. It was nothing like that. It She's was just there. Yeah, it was just like a companion kind of... When, especially when Stephen was traveling so much, she'd come over for away games, those kind of things, which just reminded me. She lived with us. <laughs> she did, for, but that's not what I was going to okay. say. Another fantastic time at this table was after Briggs' dedication. Yes. Everybody was over. Mm-hmm. And we had the table decorated. I made, it was my birthday again. Yeah, we celebrated. And it was, it was Easter, Briggs' dedication, and my birthday. And I made dinner for everybody. Which, if you can't tell, I love to make dinner for people. I love yes. to make food for people. And they were there. Yeah. And Adele stands up at three years old and goes, Hey, everybody be quiet. Who's going to be my boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I remember that. <laughs> yes. Just draws everybody's attention. Draws everybody's attention. But yeah, like I said, that was probably one of my favorite one of my favorite moments. Sorry, that was one. Which was one? one? The other one, uh, I can't think of the year. Uh, <laughs> it was Easter. Of 2022, before we moved, and the world was... 2020. 2020, yes. Mm -hmm. Easter 2020, when the world was shut down, Mm. we were in the process of moving, and the table was like one of the last... We can't pack a table up. It also weighs 12,000 pounds. Yes, true. It was was one of the last few things we had packed up, and Alana, again, made a great Easter dinner, but we had been in the house all day, sprawled out in the den on mats, Watching movies, couldn't go anywhere, and then we floor, all yeah. got up and came and sat and ate an Easter dinner, and it was just the thing about it is sometimes in the most solid moments you can feel the most, mm. and there wasn't great conversation that time, but just having the family there and not rushing to to what's happening tomorrow, or it was just like mm-hmm. we're here because so many times you're like rushing to do something next, but we were just here. And we had been together all day, but getting up and coming to the table mm-hmm. and eating that and then going back to our pillow forts after that, but we just got up and sat. And it's something that I don't even know if Adele and Briggs will remember it, but this is a very special time. Briggs and, definitely won't because he was like one years old. Yeah. But that was, I think that was one of my favorite days ever. Yeah. Like core memory. You know, inside out. It's one of the circles for inside sure. Inside out too? Inside out one? Core memory? Both of them. Both of them. Both but yeah, so I mean, like I said, it's one of those things where it's this table has been through so much, mm-hmm. and as you guys navigate your your day to day, you know, we just have to let you know to bring more people to your table, and be able to willing to overlook some of the nicks, the wear and tear, the Chick Fil A rings <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> pop up out of anywhere. Oh man! And really be able to just have conversations with each other, and I think that's something that we in the last few years have really honed in on in terms of having people at the table and just enjoying the time together as friends and family. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. So if you guys are enjoying this, definitely leave us a review. Give us the feedback. If there's something you guys want us to talk about, reach out to us on our website at themizelshow.com. There is a contact section. You can put it in there. We would love to hear about it. Or you can always go over to Instagram at The Mizell Show. 
Also, as always, don't forget to screenshot this episode and just add it to your stories and tag us on Instagram, on Facebook at The Myself Show. Thanks, guys. Are you loving The Myself Show? Well, we love you all. And did you know that you can have me and Steven talk to your team or a group of 25 of your friends? All it takes is 25 people showing up on either a Zoom call, a Facebook Live, or really anywhere, hopefully in person sooner rather than later. But how do you get us? So all you have to do is email themyzelshow at gmail.com or you can direct message us on Instagram at themyzelshow. 